Okay, I think for the first time, first of all, I, I must say that I'm a lawyer in Israel, meaning I know the law, I study the law. And what I'm saying is that here, those 15 <laughs> judges from the Supreme Court, every day are going against the laws of Israel. They're discriminating Jews, not in Germany of the, the 30s, here in Israel, they're discriminating every day. Jewish fathers to their death, they're pushing them to take their life. And this is done by 15 judges that appoint themselves as if they were a dynasty from the 15th or the 14th century. This is happening every day in Israel. And the world is silent and the people in Israel are silent. And Jewish people are paying with their blood, with the blood that they're dying. Hundreds of Jews are dying every year because of this discrimination. And children are being disconnected from their fathers because of this discrimination. Of the 15 judges who appoint themselves, who judge everybody but themselves. Well, Yaron, kolakavodlacha, kolakavodlacha. So we have a situation where people outside do not know the corruption inside Israel is actually causing lives. It's killing people, yeah? It's killing people and the reason for that is, and I think it's, it, it, it's all around the world, it's the fact that the family courts are, are behind curtains. That's, that's the main reason. But I think here, in a way, it has, it, it, it has a symbolic even, which, I don't know, uh, transcends what's happening in the rest of the world. Because it's Jews discriminating Jews. You know, it's not that I can uh, find the reasoning for why the Nazis did what they did, but they were German. You know, they were they were they were bred in, in a way. They were taught to hate Jews. They were they were taught an anti-Semitic, an anti uh, let's say, quote unquote values. But here in Israel, Jews, 15 appointed judges, which are supposed to be Jews and which are supposed to to, to obey the rules of Israel, discriminate Jews as if you were in Germany. In, 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 a, in a most sinister way that can that can that can happen. They disconnect fathers from their children. They don't let fathers leave. They don't let they, they send fathers to jail just because they, they cannot stand with their I don't know uh, quote unquote obligation, which they do. There, there, there's no reasoning for that. <laughs> Do you want to say something in English, just to a few English? Hi everybody, we're here just trying to convince the Supreme Court to say the world about what's going on right now in Israel with all the fathers, with all the fathers that try to wrong the kids and the laws here doesn't allow us right now. We are until the all, but the problem is that also in the meantime, they've got the continuity law. But was it's gonna still be him. So they be a brief a tarot cell and a baby every cat. If you divorce before if you divorce before the your child your youngest child, six years old, that means that your chest uh you can what the mother is gonna like to do. You get no right to uh the old level. That's the bullshit that we're trying to learn right now. Also you need to be uh, even if you are having a Custody, custody together with your with the mother of your child. You have half the time it is still have to pay a lot of money. Even if you get the same uh, expenses that she has. That's the whole whole world she doesn't live in. You're amazing. You're gonna win. You're gonna win. It's Dimitri. Do you have anything to tell the world out there? Yeah, for freedom. <laughs> for honor. For honor, for freedom. Okay, you think we're gonna win in the end? What? Are we gonna win? Sure. We're gonna win. We must. We have to. Or what will happen? <laughs> Any other options? There's no options. There's no options. We have to win. We have to win. And that's what people are saying.